Just there talking about this uh, X Factor for heavyweights, and I think Frank's on the line. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Let's say the HW Factor. We don't want Simon Cowell arresting us and charging us with pinching his X Factor. <laughs> well, tell us the difference then, because you did refer to it as being a bit like the X Factor in that VT that we just watched there. So just uh, give us a little bit more detail, Frank, about what you're trying to do here. So we're looking for young heavyweights that have no more than five fights and we will enter them in leagues, a league, um, where they will fight each other over a period of a number of months and then the two winners of League A and B will fight each other. The second two places will fight the third places and the fourth places for the wooden spoon. We've seen in the past, uh, I think, you know, obviously with the contender, which would be an obvious uh, comparison in terms of th this kind of show. I mean, what do you think, why do you think it might just capture the, the public attention. Obviously, you talk about the big men, which always kind of does in a way anyway, but why do you think a format like this will work? Because it's about entertainment value, and, you know, the public want entertainment value. They've got to be given it, and um, this is all geared to entertainment. There's bonuses for knockout wins. There's bonuses for the best uh, person on show on the night. So it, it's, uh, it's, it's something completely... I wouldn't say new, but it's it's newish, and it's it just brings new people into to the game, people that other fans may not recognise. Frank, how many guys have you actually got secured for the for the league so far? I think at the moment we're we're right up to date. We've got two di two divisions of four and a reserve division of um, four because the reserves were also boxed because if anyone gets hurt or can't continue will move the reserve and who's the highest rated reserve to go go into the into the next league. Obviously you can't show too much favouritism, but is there anyone involved that maybe hasn't had much publicity that will sneak up on the others? Anyone we should be aware of? Uh, I think they're all they're all going to be new heavyweights that no one's really watched. Um, there's about three or four, I think. You know, I'm meeting with uh, Joe Long, uh, my partner in it on Monday, and we'll go through it and then there'll be a a press conference to announce everything in, in uh, sometime in December, beginning of January, and then we're ready to roll the show. What's the thing in terms of how people will watch it, Frank? Sorry? In terms of how people will watch it, I mean, in terms of coverage of it, is it events-led, you know, well, in terms of... We are talking to TV companies. Um, there's a little, there is an interest in it. If not, it will go live on, um, on, on the internet. Okay. I mean, are you planning to have all the matches at the same venue? Will there be kind of four fights each time on each show? Or? No, there will be a four card. Every, yeah, it'll be all the same um, on on the night. It will be, but every I think it's one, two, three, four. I, I think it'll, five, six, there's probably about six six fights on the night. It'll be a four card, and yes, every time um, there's one round, two, three rounds, four rounds. It'll all be on the same night. We were just talking to Tim Witherspoon before about the heavyweight division, Frank. I mean, is this indicative of the state of it that you feel it needs something like this? No, you just got to look for new ideas. It's, you know, we've got a lot of competition out there for you know for the fan base, so we, we've got to come up with new ideas. We've got to come up with uh, new things that will keep the people interested. And this is something that I've been working on for a long time, and, and we're finally ready now to put it in place. What's the winner in line to get, both financially and, and what opportunities, maybe an area title shot, something like that? Well, they'll be given a contract with our company uh, if they wish to take it. They've got the option to take it and not take it. And um, it's quite a large purse for them, which is still being finalised. And we're just talking to a couple of sponsors, so there may be um, a, a nice prize as well. Now, one of your, your fighters... David Price, I think we might have David on the line as well now. Is, uh, is, are you with us, David? Yeah, I'm here, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Right, it, it's sounding great quality as well. And Frank's on the line talking about, obviously, this, the, the new development. It's something as a fighter, David, I'm sure you think it's a great idea as well. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good opportunity for the, the new starts in the professional game. I mean, it can be a little bit of a long, hard road to, to, to get some exposure for people who have saying pro uh, without much of an amateur background or whatnot, so this could give them a bit of a head start and give them that little boost they, they need, so I think it's a good idea. And Frank, if you're still with us as well... Sorry? Frank, are you still on the line? We're just getting a little bit of feedback there. If you can still hear us. Hello? Oh, Frank is still there. Frank, tell us a little bit about yourself and David going out to Vegas. 
I think Frank's dropped off. We'll stick with you, David, Would anyway. You? Yeah. If, <laughs> yeah. You're an able substitute. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're heading out to Vegas, I believe, with Frank uh, to uh, do a bit of publicity. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, I, I think it's, it's the WBC convention. I mean, obviously, I'm not ranked in any world governing bodies quite yet, but Frank think it, thinks it'll be a good idea for me to go over and, you know, get me face seen and, and get people knowing who I am type of thing. As you know, I think I inevitably will end up in the Duncans. So um, he thinks it'd just be it'd just be good for the future just to go out there and put my name out there. So it's worthwhile going over to do a bit of training while I'm there as well and um, get to see what it's like over there. You've still got a profile out over there, Frank. They, they remember you well, obviously, from Lennox but, and everything you've done since there. So you obviously still have the contacts there and you feel you can do a great job out there. Yes, I think you know. I think it'd be very good for David. Um, he'll meet some of the American press, which is very important. And you know, you need um, a heavyweight from either Britain or America really to set the division alight. You know, I believe um, David Hay had the opportunity, but he didn't really capitalise on it. Failed when he came to the series test. So, uh, and I think David is a, is a, a, a different sort of person a different approach to the sport. He's a real big guy, real big heavyweight. And I just think um, when he arrives in Vegas and he meets the boxing fraternity in the world, a lot of people are going to sort of like him and fall in love with him. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, th Frank, thanks very much indeed for telling us all, uh, obviously, about the, the new heavyweight extravaganza that we're, we're all going to look forward to as well. We're going to stick with David, but thank you very much for joining us. And you'll have to come in and, uh, and have a good chat with us, Frank, in this beautiful studio now. <laughs> OK, yeah, I look forward to that. Good man, Frank Maloney. And, David, if you stay with us for a second, uh, John McDermott coming up, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts ahead of this one? It's been put back, hasn't it? But January the 21st to date now, it's one to savour. Yeah, I mean, uh, people people are obviously going to be looking forward to it because it's being cancelled twice now due to injury on both our parts. But I can tell you no one's looking forward to it more than me. I mean, I've, I've had John McDermott on the brain since <laughs> early this year and... You know, I need, I need to raise him from my head. He's, he's uh, got to get out of my head, and I've got to do that by beating him on January 21st. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to getting... You know, I haven't boxed yet this season, so I want to showcase my talents and uh, show everyone what, you know, what improvements I've been making. And Dave, you mentioned, obviously, you're going to do some training when you go out into to the States soon. Do you think a visit to Floyd Mayweather's gym might be in order while you're over there? Yeah, I will. I mean, I don't think um, I could. I mean, when I go away to train, I try and train with heavyweights or whatever. I mean, but I, so just to even be in the same gym as Floyd Mayweather, I'll go. I'll, I'll try and do that regardless of whether he's a heavyweight or not. I'll just try and go and get a picture with him or something. <laughs> um, you know, I wouldn't expect him to start giving me giving me pointers and things like that. But I'll definitely jump in a taxi and take a trip down there and and just get to try and get to meet the man himself. Just finally, just uh, best of luck with everything. I, I hope you have a great Christmas, David. But there's a name, Tyson Fury, that's never going to be far away when we talk to the likes of yourself. Uh, how are you feeling now with his progress and how are you feeling with a fight down the line? Um, to be honest, I just with, with Fury, I just try to concentrate on my own progress. And um, I think we'll inevitably, inevitably meet because, um, you know, I, I'll, win, I'll beat John McTermott in January. I've got no doubt about that. And then I'll be mandatory to fight for Fiori's British title. And if I, if I, I don't really know Fiori, but I know he's a man who, you know, he's a fighter. I don't think he'll back down from a fight. So you know, I think he, he'll he'll uh, stand up to the challenge and, and fight me. And it's a fight that I'm looking forward to. And it's a fight that, you know, it's on everyone's lips. And I, you know, I'm really excited about the fight. Uh, but as I say, I've got to get past John, Big John first, which I'm. Confidence of will, and then we can talk about that later. Well, we'll all look forward to that. We're going to have to stop you there, but thank you very much indeed for joining us.